that's the boy. Good boy. Hi, right, Steve Fox and York the Guy Dog back again with a brand new video. And uh, this time around, it's a bit of a tech video. Now, I wouldn't describe myself as a tech guy, but I learned some gestures that I could use on my iPhone when using VoiceOver the other day that I thought were really handy and I didn't know they existed and I've been using the iPhone for a little while now. So I wanted to pass them on. But if you haven't liked this video yet, please like the video. It's all to do with the YouTube algorithm. The more likes we get, the more this video will be suggested to other people that are blind and vision impaired and we can pass the information on. But yeah, hopefully you'll learn something from this as well. Some gestures that you can try out on the iPhone. Okay, so this is my new iPhone 11 Pro and you may or may not have noticed there's no home button anymore on the iPhone 11 Pro. So if you're blind or vision impaired and you're worried that there's no home button and you can't use your thumb to get into the iPhone, uh, facial recognition works really well. So all I need to do is um, be in front of it and um, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and that replaces the home button. So I'll just wake it up then swipe up from the bottom to replicate what the home button used to do. And there you go. When you hear one doink, that's the same as hitting the home button. If I swiped up until I heard the second doink, that would be the same as two pushes of the home button, which was the app switcher before. App switcher has no items. So what I wanted to show you was the gestures that I discovered the other day on VoiceOver. Now I've been using VoiceOver for well, a little while now, but there were a couple of gestures that I didn't know existed and I thought they were really handy. So I thought I'd run through how you can work out what all the gestures are on your iPhone if you're not aware of them all. Um, if you're not a regular voiceover user, if you hang on to the end of this video, I'll show you how to turn voiceover on. But in the meantime, a four finger double tap on the screen. Starting help to stop help. Perform a four finger double tap or two finger scrabble press escape on the keyboard. That starts help in voiceover and then you can run through all the gestures and it will tell you what that particular gesture does. So from the very basic, just touching the screen with one finger. Touch, speak item. So that will identify what you're touching. Uh, if I did the one finger double tap. One finger double tap, activate. Um, now, one that I discovered the other day that I didn't know existed was the two finger swipe up. Two finger swipe up, read from top. Really handy. Like if you're running through an email, uh, it used to drive me crazy that the email would stop reading at every bullet point paragraph. Now I can simply swipe up with two fingers, it'll read the email and I can sit back and relax. So that's a great one that I discovered the other day. Maybe I'm slow on the uptake, but I'm sure there's other people out there that don't know it exists as well. Now, another one that I found was the back arrow with two fingers or the two finger scrub. Now I do it as a, a backwards facing Z and it works the same as finding the back button on uh, your iPhone or if maybe an ad pops up and you can't find the little close option, the two finger backwards Z or backwards Z works the same as the back button. Two finger scrub, escape, stopping help. And it also jumped me out of that help menu, but fantastic, makes things really easy. You can hit escape wherever you are on the screen without having to find that back button. So I'll just jump back in again. The four finger double tap. Starting help, to stop help, perform a four finger double tap or two finger scrabble press escape on the keyboard. That will open help. And if I do a four finger tap towards the top of the screen, which is a handy one. Move to first item. Jumps to the first item. Do the same at the bottom of the screen. Move to last item. But any of the gestures that are there in the iPhone, you can just practice and it'll tell you what they are without actually doing it and you, you can't mess anything up. So two finger rotation. Two finger rotate clockwise, next rotor. Two finger rotate anti-clockwise, previous rotor. So that will jump through your options like speaking rate and uh, characters and words, all those things. But just try the gestures, have a look and see what's around. Three finger swipe right, scroll left. Three finger triple tap, toggle screen curtain. So they're all in there. It'll tell you what they are. I love the screen curtain when I'm you know, riding on the train or something like that. It allows me to turn the screen to black 
so that when people look at me and say, what's this blind guy doing using an iPhone? If the, the screen's on black, well, you know, I don't have to explain myself at all. It's as easy as that. They're the gestures on the iPhone. Have a look around, see what you think. And to get out of this menu, it's simply a two finger scrub, or I can do the four finger double tap again. Two finger scrub, escape, stopping help. So the two finger scrub, that was the two finger backwards Z. Now, if you are not a regular iPhone user and you want to know how to turn on voiceover, I simply find settings on the screen. Numbers, VO starter, Telstra 24X7, trip view light, swell net, page three of four, adjustable. Oh, Swipe on. up or down with one finger to adjust the value. Okay, so I'm on page three, I need page two. Page two of four, page two of four, adjustable. Find settings. Stocks, iTunes store, settings, one new item. All right, double so tap to open. double tap to open settings. Settings, right. search. Stephen Fox, finish setting up your iPhone. Right. Button, Apple Care Plus coverage. There are 60 days remaining. Airplane mode, op, Wi-Fi, Tells Bluetooth, on. Button. So I'm simply scrolling down until I find um, accessibility. Mobile, button, personal hotspot, notifications, sounds and haptics, do not disturb. Screen time, but general, button, control center, display and brightness, accessibility, button. Accessibility. Double tap to go into accessibility. Accessibility features help you customize your iPhone for your individual needs. Now, once I'm in accessibility, I want to go to voiceover. Vision, heading, voiceover, on, button. And there you go, voiceover. It's already turned on because I can't use my iPhone without voiceover. So it's as easy as that. That's how you turn on voiceover. Um, swipe up from the bottom to just jump back to the main screen. And then once voiceover is on, if you want to toggle between having voiceover on or off. On the iPhone 11 Pro, it's now the button on the right-hand side. I'll just push that three times. Voiceover off. Voiceover on, mail, 10 and red emails. And if you had the, to open. If you had the home button, it would just be three pushes of the home button. So have a look around, try some new gestures, see what you think, and uh, yeah. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Just a quick heads up for older iPhone users. If you're not totally up to date with all of your updates, you may find VoiceOver a little differently. You might need to go settings and then general. That's where you'll find accessibility and there you can turn VoiceOver on or off. Anyway, if you've got any comments, suggestions, we'd love to hear from you down below in the comments section. We will probably make some more videos on the iPhone. So we'd love to hear your thoughts. In the meantime, hit that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And along with that, we'd love it if you'd subscribe as well. Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. We've got some more videos in the pipeline, including a surfing blind video, just waiting on some help from the surf gods. We've got a, a video coming up too on how we make these videos and a whole bunch more. So please subscribe. Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. Get the notifications. And that way, we'll be seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.